today we're starting our mass cleanup of all the garbage we've collected over about eight years. Uh, so we're cleaning out the basement, the backyard, we have a big dumpster we're filling. Sung Lee just came over to do some work in her little warehouse downstairs. How do we tell her she's probably got to move out too? Go home. Maybe, uh, maybe the lock. Maybe none of this. No lock. Keep it open. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no more locks, so that in case they can go in. She didn't lock the gate. Oh, yeah? She walked okay. Tried to explain to her, and I guess she understood. Does she normally lock the gate? Always. She always locks the gate. This is her private domain. She obviously collects the cans for the neighborhood. What does she think about us? She probably thinks that we drink a lot, because I imagine this house is like her bread and butter. I, like, what do you want me to say? Yeah, Young Sun Lee's a tiny, old Chinese woman. She's very small. She wears, like, old lady clothing, you know? Like, I feel like there's a lot of floral patterns going on there. I feel like there's a lot of uh, bucket hats. Um, I'm trying to remember if she even wears, like, open-toed shoes ever, like sandals. I don't think so. I love her. I love Young Sun Lee. I think she's great. Out of all the people that collect her cans, like, she's our number one girl. She has this crazy big smile. She's so positive. She clearly has this really insane work ethic. She's a bit of a mentor. I don't really know how to garden, and she's out there showing me how to do things. Seems like she's giving a lot to the world. And so when you think about someone like that, it's really uplifting. And you kind of think like, man, that's probably the way that we should all be living. So for me, when I think about her, it's just really like positive experience. So I'm just happy to know her. I live in Vancouver, East Van, Hastings Sunrise, in what people call the Whale House. People started just calling it the Whale House, and that nickname sort of, it's like all nicknames, it's just that's the one that sort of seemed to stick, because it's giant and white, the big white whale, I guess, is how it sort of came about. It's a big, beautiful house with huge yard and many roommates. There's usually about five of us. Technically, there is a lock on the door, but it's almost never locked. People just think it's an open door policy, which it is. And we're all leaving very soon. The house is disbanding. The first kind of memory I have of Young Sung Lee being a part of this house is a Saturday morning when I'm a little hungover, and I guess we had a party the night before. There was broken glass on the kitchen floor, and I was in there, and she just came right in the house and started sweeping up the broken glass. And that's when I knew. I was like, this is a really nice woman here. We got to keep her around. I guess she saw like a bunch of like idiots in their mid-20s like trying to start a garden that didn't really know what we were doing. And she just started coming by and pointing at stuff and being like, oh, what are you, what are you doing? from what we could understand, like, oh, you're doing that wrong. And, you're, and she's kind of showing us how to do things better. And I start to like turn weeds and she's just like, hits my arm, takes the shovel and starts like turning the dirt. And then we like plant this garden together. And then from that, it kind of just turned into her setting up, building these like little makeshift trellises with like pieces of tree and branch and, all, and other pieces of wood that she found with like, like look at it, it's like set up with ropes. We never gave her permission to do any of that. There was never any sort of conversation about that she was gonna do that. She just started doing it and we never stopped her because we kind of liked what she was doing, I guess. 
There's just no way to tell her that she has to be moved out, and like, the day we have to move out is approaching very quickly. Tear. There's a for sale sign outside, and it's, it's not good. It's not a good look for us. No more. No, everything is here. No more. Everything is going away. What a mess. Bye-bye <sighs> okay. for now. Bye-bye. So we kind of got lucky. Our friend has a friend that speaks Cantonese. Her name's April, and she's agreed to come over and uh, translate for us. <laughs> we're going to have to take a moment from all this chaos of moving out, and we're going to actually have a chance to sit down and have a real conversation with Ai. April has called her friend Dong, who speaks a dialect much closer to Ai's, and it's going to be really cool. <laughs> Dong told us that it's more appropriate to refer to elderly Chinese women as Ai rather than their name. Um, he says Ai means auntie, so they prefer to be called that. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I use better. Oh, okay. I, it was nice. It was good when we did finally learn your name was Young Sung Lee so that we could actually put a name to your face. But I is a good thing too. It makes me feel a little closer. I'm so lucky. Thank you, Zai. I guess one thing we'd like to start with is we're wondering where are you from? Gaya. Yo Tong Vehicle can park over there, but not smaller cars. In in the in the big door here. But do a department. The one that opens like inside. Okay, we'll come visit sometime. <laughs> Bring you a bag of cans. <laughs> When we when we talk, do you ever have any understanding of what I'm I'm trying to say? 
因为唔求同学党，得要少少呢，要呢，要呢就识少少呢，对有法都求好。OK， like I would say the same thing. I get a little bit. 啊，呢度病咪讲好咯。係咪依家年咧？佢咧，其實佢咧年係咪依家年過嘅過過嘅太嘅？咁好嘅 ？No, you guys are so nice to each other. No, we we're all just friends that met and just through living together, we've kind of become a family. But no, we're not related at all. 啊，係咯，我話都唔知點嘅，誒一家人咁多嘅鄰居。I think like been asking myself the same question. Like it's like you know one household is like you know one family. Yeah, yeah. So I was kind of wondering, all of these other people that collect cans, is it like a rivalry between everyone, or is it more of a fraternity where you help each other out? Like a community, yeah. I, I, I don't think it's like that. 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 佢要嘅要嘅要嘅阿姨，佢又係兩架車堆落房我佢呢度。Would you say that you're friends with her? 唔係啊。No, no, 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 no. Just a, a rival colleague. 結果先買先得啦，智慧啦係嘛？嗯。跟住阿靚仔係兩架買咗買先得智慧啦係嘛？ Have you guys bought your own property? That's why you were moving out. <coughs> no, no, no one bought. We're all going to rent somewhere else. Um, I think we've lived here long enough that everyone is ready just for uh, something new, a change, a different place. Yeah, I don't know. I guess the point I wanted to make clear was that like. The structure that's there around the garden now, like the lattices and stuff, we're going to have to take down. And You'd have to come and bring all the materials again and pretty much like rebuild it from scratch. My two I got two two half two I mean I got two half can do it can do it can do it and bring the furniture and and the bed. Hello, you慢慢食啦。我我屋企又保保健康，我又翻屋企啦。就好感电，又好感电，你帮我存下那瓦去啊，多个翻译。Since it's Chinese New Year right now, the idea came up that we could bless the house. So we've asked Ai if she would show us how to do that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's actually kind of hard tearing down these trellises. Uh, I've seen a lot of things grow on it, and it's a little heartbreaking. And once we do this, pretty much done and out of here. Yeah, it sucks. Tear the shit down. Yeah, beer break. Yep. Vodka spritzer break. Yeah, no. I'm like, we're done with it. Yeah. I think hopefully she understands why. And then hopefully yeah. she gets it all back. And hopefully the people who move in like drink as much as we do. <laughs> yeah, hopefully they uh, <laughs> keep the can train coming. Yeah, yeah. Cheers to them. After we moved out, it snowed. I was just driving by the house, and uh, nobody was living there yet. Don't know how long it's going to sit empty, but hopefully, Hai's all right. My name is Nicky, I'm a machinist, and I'm a, I'm a cucumber slave for the cans. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> the reason she's uh, called Cucumber is because when she came up the first time, uh, we, we'd never met her before, and this was the first time, and she like shook all of her hands, and, uh, and she just kept saying Cucumber over and over and over and over and over again, and uh, nobody knew her name. We were all trying to introduce ourselves, like, yeah, Stephen, and she just kept saying Cucumber. So we were like, all right, her name's Cucumber, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, it turns out she was like, I'm growing cucumbers. That's what she was trying to tell us. So. Yeah, but she just literally was doing it. And uh, we didn't stop her, you know. Like, yeah, we were just kind of, kind of intrigued by it, you know. We're like, yeah, little old lady, nothing wrong. She's not harming anyone, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite nice actually. <laughs> and then we we did get the inside scoop. She might leave us a little bit of veg. So that was, that was a, uh, that was enticing, you know. She, she's here still every day when I go to work. Uh, I leave I leave here at about 7:30 in the morning. She's here every day. During the summer, she'd be out farming the garden at six in the morning. Like six in the morning, you get her for work and you look out and she'd be there. It's mysterious, yeah, Sweet definitely. Mysterious. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think so. yeah. <laughs> A gentle soul, I'd yeah. say, yeah. yeah. <laughs>